The world has long looked to Silicon Valley for the future of cars. Tesla, SpaceX, Elon Musk, names that dominate every conversation about innovation. But in a quiet lab in Zimbabwe, a man named Maxwell Chikambutso has built something that doesn't just rival Musk's vision. It threatens to rewrite the entire rule book of transportation. Today, the big question shaking the tech world isn't what's next from Tesla. It's this, what does Elon Musk really think about Africa's first self-powered EV? The arrival of the game changer. It began with whispers. A car that could generate its own power. No charging stations. No dependency on the grid. No fossil fuels. At first, industry insiders dismissed it as impossible. But then came the demonstrations. The car drove for hours without recharging. Engineers confirmed it wasn't plugged into any external source. And journalists left stunned, unable to explain how it worked. The technology? A mysterious self-charging system developed by Maxwell. One that combined electromagnetic energy, advanced batteries, and principles no automaker had dared to explore. Elon Musk enters the picture. As news spread, eyes turn inevitably to one man, Elon Musk. Here was someone who had invested billions in battery technology, charging networks, and renewable energy solutions. A man who once said, sustainable energy is the future. And now, Africa had a car that didn't need charging at all. At a recent engineer's roundtable in California, whispers began, what does Elon think? Reports suggest that Musk's team quietly studied the claims. Some engineers were skeptical. Others admitted that if proven real, it could collapse the EV infrastructure model Tesla had built its empire upon. Maxwell's message to the world. Meanwhile, Maxwell himself remained calm. In interviews, he didn't attack Tesla or Musk. Instead, he said, this is not about competition. It's about humanity's survival. If Africa can power itself, then the world can learn from us. That line alone shook social media. Supporters hailed him as a visionary. Critics called him a dreamer. But one thing was certain. Musk could no longer ignore the conversation. The moment the two worlds collide, behind closed doors, analysts say Tesla is evaluating Maxwell's work. Investment firms are watching closely. And governments, especially those in Africa, see in Maxwell's invention a chance to leapfrog decades of dependency on Western energy giants. For Musk, the choice is stark. Dismiss it and risk being blindsided or embrace it and rewrite Tesla's future. And that's where the story gets even more fascinating. The global pressure builds. Word of Maxwell's self-powered EV spread far beyond Africa. Washington wanted to know how it worked. Beijing saw it as a direct opportunity to expand its grip on Africa's rare earth resources. And Moscow? They called it the perfect technology to break free from Western sanctions. Suddenly, Maxwell wasn't just an inventor. He was at the center of a geopolitical storm. Diplomats arrived in Harare with promises of investment, trade deals, and security pacts. But hidden behind those smiles were subtle threats. Work with us or someone else will. At the same time, Elon Musk's silence was growing louder. Every journalist at every Tesla event asked the same question. Elon, what do you think of Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered EV? He smiled. He deflected. But he didn't give a straight answer. Behind Tesla's walls, inside Tesla's Palo Alto headquarters, however, the conversation was anything but casual. Teams of engineers had been instructed to simulate Maxwell's design, analyzing what little data was publicly available. Some argued it was a hoax. Others whispered that if Africa had cracked this code, then Tesla's multi-billion dollar supercharging network would be obsolete overnight. One senior Tesla executive reportedly said, If this is real... It's not just competition. It's the end of the charging economy. And that's our foundation. The stakes couldn't be higher. Maxwell responds to silence. In a rare press interview, Maxwell was asked what he thought of Musk's refusal to comment. His answer was simple and chillingly confident. I don't need Elon Musk's approval. The car works. Africa doesn't have time to wait for permission from Silicon Valley. That statement went viral overnight. Social media erupted. Hashtags like hashtag Africa Leads and hashtag Beyond Tesla began trending globally. 
For the first time, Musk wasn't driving the narrative. Someone else was. The tipping point. With tensions rising, engineers, politicians, and investors are demanding one thing. A face-to-face -face moment between Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso. And insiders claim, quietly, that preparations are already being made for such a meeting. A moment that could define the future of transportation. Not just for Africa, but for the entire world. The secret meeting. Rumors began circulating that a closed-door meeting was being arranged between Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso. The location? Kept hidden from the press. But insiders whispered that it would take place at a neutral venue in Geneva, Switzerland. A city famous for diplomacy and now, perhaps, innovation. For weeks, speculation dominated headlines. Would Musk finally acknowledge the self-powered EV? Would Maxwell be pressured into partnerships he didn't want? Or was this the start of a technological cold war? Security was tightened. Reporters camped outside hotels. Cameras waited for even the smallest glimpse of Maxwell or Musk. The world was bracing for a showdown of ideas. Inside Tesla strategy. Behind the scenes, Tesla executives debated their approach. Some pushed for collaboration. If we can work with him, we win together. Others warned. This could dismantle everything we've built. Don't let him set the rules. For Musk, the dilemma was clear. Publicly ignoring Maxwell had bought Tesla time. But privately, his engineers' reports were unsettling. The data suggested that Maxwell's design wasn't a scam. It was revolutionary. Musk knew one thing. He had to see it for himself. Maxwell's preparation. Meanwhile, in Harare, Maxwell was intimidated. He gathered a small but fiercely loyal engineering team. They weren't thinking about money or fame. They were thinking about proving Africa's potential to the world. As his plane prepared for takeoff, he told reporters only one thing. I'm not going to compete. I'm going to show the truth. Whether the world accepts it or not, that's their choice. His words struck deep. Unlike most inventors, Maxwell wasn't chasing validation. He was chasing freedom. Freedom from dependency. Freedom from foreign control. Freedom for Africa. The world waits. By the time Maxwell landed in Europe, the world was watching. News outlets broadcast live coverage of his arrival. Hashtags trended globally. Hashtag Maxwell vs. Musk. Hashtag Africa Innovates. Hashtag Future of Energy. Crowds gathered outside Geneva's iconic conference centers. Some waved African flags. Others held signs reading, No more charging stations. Inside the city, hotel rooms were booked by diplomats, corporate spies, and engineers desperate to witness history. Everyone wanted the same thing, to know if Musk would finally break his silence, and what Maxwell would reveal when the two visionaries finally stood face to face. The encounter begins. The conference room in Geneva was unlike any other. No flashing cameras. No roaring crowd, just polished oak tables, discreet security, and two of the world's most talked-about minds. Elon Musk entered first, his usual confidence tempered by curiosity. Moments later, Maxwell Chikambutso walked in, calm, composed, carrying no presentation slides, no entourage of suits. Just a small black case that many assume contained the heart of his invention. The air felt electric. Observers... A mix of engineers, diplomats, and a handful of global tech leaders leaned in, holding their breath. This was the meeting the world had been waiting for. The first words. Musk broke the silence with a grin. Maxwell, you caused quite a stir. Everyone in Silicon Valley wants to know how you did it. Maxwell replied smoothly. Elon, the world doesn't need another secret. It needs a solution. The room stiffened. Musk leaned forward clearly intrigued. The demonstration. Without warning, Maxwell opened the black case. Inside was a miniaturized power unit, no larger than a laptop. He set it on the table, connected it to a small motor, and within seconds, it whirred to life, running continuously without a single battery or cable. The observers exchanged nervous glances. This wasn't a PowerPoint. It wasn't theory. It was real, and it was running right in front of them. Musk's smile faded. He studied the device closely, eyes narrowing as his engineer's mind tried to unravel the impossible. That's not supposed to work, 
he muttered under his breath. Maxwell simply leaned back, arms folded. The silence after the shock. For several long moments, no one in the room spoke. The motor kept running, humming like a quiet revolution. Every second it stayed alive was proof that Maxwell wasn't bluffing. A UN energy official whispered, If this scales, it changes everything. Power grids, oil markets, charging stations, all of it. Musk's silence was louder than any speech. He was calculating, rapidly, was this an opportunity, or the single biggest threat Tesla had ever faced? The debate, after the demonstration, the room erupted into debate. Some demanded Maxwell license the technology to existing automakers. Others insisted it should remain under African control. Musk, finally speaking, said, This is bigger than Tesla. If what I saw is scalable, it's not just about cars. It's about ending dependence on fossil fuels forever. But then he paused, his voice sharper. The question is, who controls it? Maxwell leaned forward. No one controls it. That's the point. Africa has given enough to the world without getting anything back. This time it will be different. The leak, what was supposed to be a secret meeting, didn't stay secret for long. Within hours, details of the demonstration leaked. Clips of the whirring motor, secretly recorded, spread across social media like wildfire. Headlines exploded. Musk witnesses African tech that could end charging forever. Is Tesla obsolete? Maxwell's car, the death of the oil industry? By morning, oil prices had already dipped. Charging station companies saw their stocks tumble. Meanwhile, Africa's tech market surged with investor interest. The turning point. Governments scrambled. Washington proposed a partnership. Beijing offered billions. Moscow pushed for exclusive rights. But Maxwell's response shocked them all. I didn't invent this to sell it. I invented it to free people. If the world wants it, they can come to Africa and build with us, not against us. For the first time in modern history, Africa wasn't just supplying resources. It was setting the terms. The aftermath. Weeks later, Maxwell returned to Harare. Thousands lined the streets to welcome him home. To them, he wasn't just an inventor. He was proof that Africa could lead the world into the future. Elon Musk, when finally asked by reporters what he thought of Maxwell's invention, smiled faintly and said, He's changed the game. The world better be ready. And just like that, a self-powered car born in Africa forced the world to reconsider everything, from energy and technology to who truly shapes the future. The shockwaves had only begun.